This baby is three days old and has a severe case of infection. She is struggling not to become one of the nearly four million newborn babies who die within the first four weeks of life. Most of these deaths are occurring in sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia, and in most of those countries, the deaths are occurring without any paper trail. Most of these babies are born, they don't get a birth certificate, and they don't get a death certificate. And so those babies aren't visible in life or in death. Every year, there are more than a million babies worldwide who die from being born too early, being premature. Dr. Joy Lorne is visiting Bwela Maternity Hospital in Malawi. She's been working in newborn health for 20 years, and she's here to look at what really works in helping countries meet Millennium Development Goal 4, child survival. This program is called Kangaroo Mother Care. Mothers are taught how to dress their small babies and carry them against their skin all day, allowing feeding and warmth. That's how it is mm -hmm. done. Then maybe we can just help with the legs. Mm -hmm. the legs so you're the... spreading the legs out. Yeah. So have to spread the legs like this. This baby was born three months early. Both funds and staff are in short supply here, so kangaroo mother care is perfect as no incubator or electricity are needed. So far, I can say no so sophisticated equipment has yeah. been used on this baby mm -hmm. because the mother's body will act as a heater mm -hmm. to the baby. In the bed opposite is another baby who was less than one kilogram when born. What do you think her chances would have been maybe 10 years ago before you had kangaroo mother? No chances of survival. Mm -hmm. Even compared to incubator care, kangaroo mother care, halves the risk of dying for these babies. Seeing a baby in front of you that, you know, was, was born at six months of pregnancy, three months too early, weighing 800 grams, uh, able to go home, that is a reality as well as the data. Despite Malawi's achievements, a Malawian baby is still 10 times more likely to die than a baby born in Europe or North America a figure that is even worse than in many other developing countries. What keeps me going is having, I mean, literally millions of babies dying that don't need to die. We have solutions, but we're just not making enough progress. Seven thousand kilometers away, there's a similar story. Nepal is also on track to meet Millennium Development Goal 4 for child survival. But here, they've taken a very different approach. The household is central to a woman's life here, and over 80% of births take place in the home. In Nepal, 64% of under five deaths are newborns. Here, like in other countries, common traditions around newborns can cause harm. Often a woman and her baby are considered impure after birth. Sometimes she's expected to give birth in the cow shed. Since 1990, Nepal has reduced child deaths by 61%. A new government program is now trying to promote safe practices around newborn health. At the heart of this program are the female community health volunteers like Bhagwati. Every month, she meets with the women of childbearing age in her own community, and she follows up new mothers. Although she's not medically qualified, she's been trained and can offer practical advice for the women before and after birth. In both countries, huge strides have been made, simple ideas put into forceful practice. Any baby who's being born in Africa or in South Asia who may have a low chance now still should have that chance. They should have someone to shout for them, should be able to get those services and they should be able to survive. This little boy is nearly a week old and has passed the most dangerous time for a newborn. 
His life is visible and he's been given a chance to make himself heard in the world. <laughs>